Hi, Grant. You gonna come through? Jasmine come through. and Justin Hoffman were thrilled when they learned they were starting a family. You want the ball? Then floored when they found out Jasmine was expecting times two. We do have twins that run on both sides of our family, but of course you never think it's going to happen to you. <laughs> Jasmine was determined to have healthy babies and did everything by the book. But by 20 weeks, Jasmine's blood pressure started to skyrocket. By the time I got to 30 weeks, um, essentially there was protein in my urine, which basically meant that my kidneys were not doing their job. Two weeks later, she delivered I'm Preston worried. and Grant eight yeah, weeks early. Dr. Ann Dunlop is an expert in preterm birth disparities. She says some risk factors are well known, early or late age at first pregnancy, short intervals between pregnancies, smoking, hypertension, and infection. Education efforts haven't helped much. But it hasn't really shifted rates of preterm birth, nor has it closed the gap in rates of preterm birth. Instead, Dr. Dunlop is looking to see if a combination of behavioral and environmental factors could affect a mother's genes. We're starting to understand that the microbiome, or those bacterial or microorganisms that live on or in the human body, may be playing an important role. That's it, your grandma. The Hoffmans not only have a family history of twins, but also of preterm birth. I was a late preterm baby, and I was born at 36 weeks. It is something that our family has struggled with. Something she hopes won't be an issue for the next generation. I'm Marty Salt reporting.